Hey guys, so in the last video we looked at using triggers to make us all move onto other scenes, but this time, again, I had a lot of people asking, is say when you have a timer that runs down or goes to zero, we want to be able to move a scene that way. So this is very similar. I've done a tutorial, which is about when the timer um, gets making a simple countdown timer, should I say. And then from there, what we're going to do when it hits zero, um, we're just going to do what we did before, application.load level. It's very simple, but... I'll cover it again so everybody's aware. What we'll do is what I'll do is the old script that we had, you could just create a new JavaScript if you need to, but I'm just going to duplicate my old one. So I'm going to call this um, move scene timer. So it's in my scene that I've opened up. What we need to do is you just make, need to make sure that you've got a first person controller in your scene. Then what we'll do is we'll open up move scene timer in mono develop. If once you've created your new JavaScript file, and then it'll be like what we had before, so the on-trigger event. But this time we don't need an on-trigger event. What we'll do is we'll delete that function and we'll just remove it all. Then what we'll do is we'll write variable timer. Have it set to a flow equal to 10.0. So make that's going to be our 10 seconds. Then we'll write function update, two brackets, then two curly brackets below. Then we'll say timer minus equals time dot delta time with the semicolon so that means that whatever we have set to timer is counting down every second or so and then what we need to do within we need to make an if statement to check every time we run the update is that if timer is ever less than or equal to zero what we're going to do so obviously if that timer hits zero we're going to say application dot load level open brackets and then we can have something whatever your scene might be called and have that set to new scene in brackets in quotes and then have a semicolon and then what we'll do is save that out and then from there what we're going to be able to do is if we add this to our first person controller I'm just deleting the old asset that I had for this scene I will add move scene timer and you can see the timer is set to 10 seconds and then what you need to do in your build settings is you need to make sure that new scene is added to there so create a new scene with file new scene then save a scene out or save it as and then just drag it into here and then we'll be able to run it what I'll do for now is I'll set this timer to 5 just so it's a little bit less and so you can see it counting down on this side and we can do whatever we're doing in our game and when we get finished it will load our new scene but there's nothing in my new scene to see but all I'm again showing like my last one is that something very simple is that my timer is equal to 10 in the update function we count down if it hits 0 we'll do application.load level and then it's equal to new scene almost so that's it for both going on a trigger and when you hit to zero from a timer you can just load a new level remember application.load level does just that so again thanks very much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers